out on the elevator. I'll need to find a way to turn the juice back on. And yet another note about bad joy. Gemma was really onto something, wasn't she? that platform without getting electrocuted. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before- <laughs> Fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Accidentally poisoned the muffins. Even on joy, people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy. to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? Joy's going bad. That'll drive the entire town crazy. Now adjusting the 
formula. New materials. Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. I have a feeling there's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm going to have to turn on some power switches. Thank you. 
Stay here, but I can't. Where's the door? For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? I think if I redirect the Motiline to power the grid... to power the grid. One, two more, I think. I never switches to turn on this bloody door. I sort of think this place is about to explode. I'm swimming! Oh, good Christ! Where are your clothes? Percy, where are your clothes?
switches to turn on this bloody door? Bloody door now, I hope. You're gonna run me down with that thing! Not if you run fast enough, you rotten fool! Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realise he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. Except for the night. You can take your joy in this. We're out of that around here. Save a bit for the next minute.
going at it. Now I lay me down to sleep. Couldn't be better, thanks. You know, I think someone's looking for you. I don't think the train comes here anymore. The train? Oh, uh, because of the, um... Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's the butcher's boy, Edmund. He's never been late before. That's not Edmund Macmillan, is he? I, I hope nothing's happened to him. I, I mean, meat's like gold these days, and he's... A bit dim. So Edmund McMillan's the... I guess his parents aren't looking after him anymore. But... Maybe I should see what's become of him. I wonder if he's missed any more deliveries. You will take your joy immediately. Did you hear? The circus is coming to town. Are you waiting for someone? The butcher's boy. He's a bit slow, but he's usually right on the dot. Do you know where he might be? I haven't seen him all day. But Fanny might know. She was planning a festive meal, I think. Probably out shopping, I'd imagine. She's quite the cook, you know. Are you... Fanny? What if I was? I'm looking for Edmund, the butcher's boy. He's late. He's always so punctual. Someone saw him going into the alley. You know, the one that always smells like cheese. Did you look for him? I'm not going back there. That's where the ploughboys convene. The street gang? Oh dear. I have a terrible feeling he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and see if I can't straighten things out for him.
Hey, leave him alone. Hey, fuck off. Why don't you pick on someone who can defend himself? Why the fuck would we do that? Oh, it's Arthur Hastings, Miss Victoria's pet. Boys, this is our lucky day. I'll put a damper on you! Last one smiling is a rotten egg! Where did you go? What have we come to? Arthur! You are right. My legs won't walk. I, I think they're broken. Did the plow boys say why they were hurting you? They said they were having their fun. Here, I'll take you to the pub. They'll get you a doctor. They knew me there. Sometimes they give me treats. I don't want to be a meat boy anymore, Arthur. Do you want me to tell the butcher? He'll be mad that I didn't deliver the packages. Do you want me to deliver them for you? You're good, Arthur. Percy always said so. I bet he'd let you be the new meat boy if you wanted. The, the packages always say where to go. He writes them so we don't get lost. Arthur? <laughs> Arthur? Don't leave me here! Do you remember Percy? Of course I remember Percy. He's my brother. It's just... people forget things. Oh no. Miss Victoria said he was dim. But he wasn't. He was smart. And he never lied. Most people lie all the time. Did you know that? Yes. I'm afraid I'm one of them. But you're good, Arthur. Percy said so. I'm gonna find him. I promised I'll take care of him. Do you know where he is? Somewhere in Germany. Or Russia. Is that very far away? Yes. Is it very cold there? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Arthur? Oh, I think I have a package for you. D don't leave me here. Yeah, this is it. Oh, lovely, lovely. Won't my man be pleased? It's so hard to find a decent cut of meat these days. About that. Where does he get the meat? Oh, oh, oh. Transubstantiation, I hope. <laughs> Thanks so much and have a lovely day. Now and then, you might see someone who seems to be sleeping on the part or... Trip on them. So, what's going on? Well, the first thing to find out is if they're sleeping or if they're just lying there. Sorry about the wait. Arthur! Oh, that's a relief. Did they, they leave me here? Mushrooms? Oh no, dear. I supply him with the very freshest meat. Anyone can put a trap where they like to run, you see. 
but they won't go for V-meat anymore. I make it smell a bit rotten. They run right in, can't help themselves. I'll bear that in mind. I hear he's open to... new sources. New... sources? Oh, never mind. I'll just ask him myself. Brilliant. I'll just take this back to him. And Dr. Jones has what to do with six people after all. And you don't. Uh, what to do if they don't respond? I've got your package. Arthur, you are a dear. D -d don't leave and me here. Package for the butcher. Am I supposed to pick something up? I found some mushrooms in the attic. I'm pretty sure they're edible. And a tin of axle grease. And some V meat. I won't eat it when it goes off like that. What does he do with all that? Oh, that's his special magic power. He makes sausages out of the most atrocious things, and they taste wonderful. I'm sure he'll give you one. It's how he pays the deliveries. Well, that's something to look forward to. I'm off to see the butcher, the wonderful butcher of ours. What's your fancy? I suppose you've seen Arthur? my meat boy, Edmund. D -d don't leave the, me uh, here. Ploughboy's broke his legs. Oh, that's a damn shame. He's simple, you know, but reliable. I dropped off his packages, and uh, the ladies gave me these. Oh, ho, ho, lovely. There's quite a shortage of cows in Amlin, I can tell you that. <laughs> Listen, we've got one small uh, errand, if you're up for it. I'll give you what I pay Edmund. An errand? Another pickup. Going to big. How big? How tall would you say you are? Six foot? About six feet big. My, uh, source had it on a cart. Here. We'll give you a map. It's, um, it's near where that statue used to be. You, you know, with the, the, the Mad Hatter and the White Rabbit and the, 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 the woman. You know, where they were going to build a band shell, but then they didn't. I know the place. I, uh, can't make any promises. Of course not. Not is as good as a wink. Say no more. Say no more. I'll make sure that they write on the package where you're supposed to take it. It's a bit, uh, awkward to bring it directly here. <laughs> Please keep clear of the area, sir. We are conducting an investigation into a possibly heinous package. The, uh, package? What's in it? Well, sir, I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. I'm a bit worried that it will bring me down. One must protect one's mood, you know. Happiness is a choice. Your line of work must be very tough on your mood indeed. Oh, oh it is, sir. Oh, oh, oh it is, sir. The constabulary is a bit of a thankless task. If we do our job, no one notices. I hope you like this sort of thing. Well, I for one appreciate your work. Well, that is frightful decent of you. I hope you appreciate my work too. Here. I want you to have you're a good man, constable. We'll just go and have a sip of the old medicinal. Warm up. And then we'll see what sort of investigation is warranted. Who knows? Sometimes these situations result in Steve, films. Call the eye. puppies! Help! You blink your eye and the situation is uh, bizarre. 
Our best beat is good. Somewhat. Isn't that Colonel Lawrence's house? He was the hero of Ramsgate, wasn't he? Afternoon. Intrepid young man. You've done me a solid. They don't make them like you anymore. Well, we suppose they don't make them at all anymore. <laughs> Here, 
The least I can do is give you what I gave poor Edmund. Look, my job has been getting complicated. I could certainly use an apprentice. Do you like a permanent position? Edmund's a good lad, but he's always been a bit limited. And my work has become so challenging of late. I've had to go to extraordinary measures to keep this town fed. We are in an extraordinary situation, aren't we? You were so helpful in bringing me that package. Now, we need to process it. You want me to help process that package? I'm not proposing you hurt anyone, you understand? Just ignore a silly old taboo. Just go on through that door if you're willing to help. <laughs> People say you can't get good help these days. Ow. Oh, it's my things. No windows. That's oh, not ominous at all. Welcome to Cutty's Mechanical Kitchen, featuring the very latest in meat packing technology. It used to take days to dismantle a carcass. With my new inventions, one apprentice can reduce a carcass to its edible parts in no time at all. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is the very first time we're running our machines on the real... material. What have I got myself into? Now the first thing that I need you to do is obtain the package from the upstairs cold storage room. Don't worry. At no point will you have to unwrap the package the magic all happens through the provided access valve. No time to read this now. 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 wants me to stay away from the cellar. Is that the way out, I wonder? Before you make the package, you'll need to operate each machine once. Just to clear out any residue, check its operational status. You don't want to contaminate the product. Now, join the package to the exsanguinator via the provided access valve. Back to work, you nosy parker. I don't recall signing on to be a prisoner. It's just for a little while, Arthur. Will you get up to speed? The job we do is very important to Wellington Wells. The fact is, we've run out of rats and ravens. Why don't you tell the executive committee? I'm sure they give you a medal. That's just it. Or you don't think they would? People love to think about cows eating grass happy in the fields. And they love to get a steak wrapped up in brown paper. So he loves to hear himself talk. Good. 
Maybe while he's talking, I can find something here I can use. But I don't think about how the cow gets into the brain paper, how the meat was connected to the bones. They want everything neatly wrapped up in wax paper so they can keep it out of their minds. We are here to let people deny uncomfortable things so they can get on with their lives. Now, Turn the crank until the exsanguinator determines that the package no longer contains free liquids. We don't want anything to go to waste, do we? Ah, good. As you can see, each machine will release its package once it's accomplished its purpose. Efficiency is our watchword. Next up, evisceration. That would be the the eviscerator. You learn quickly. As before, engage the mech. Was it supposed to do that? Did you not see the blades come out? No, just just box. Also, a, a metal thing just fell out of the main bit. Oh dear. The commutator was overloaded again. I thought we'd fix that. Well, maybe you better come down here and fix it again. Ha! Uh, I'm sure you can manage on your own. There's a spare one in the cupboard downstairs. There's only one way to insert it. Again. Good as new! Well, it's actually quite new, so, you know. Anyway, we're back in action. You can attach the package now. Well mounted, lad! Well mounted! Excellent! When the eviscerator is done, the package will be dismounted, ready for another package. Uh, another package? Once I achieve a steadier stream of raw material, I would have to keep these machines running all day. Or at least long enough to take advantage of any surplus protein that could be obtained in Wellington Wells. Now for the final process. Bring the package to the exfoliator on the next floor. Exfoliator? Yep. It exposes the skin to steam, separating it from the muscle. And then it removes the skin, making it available for tanning. Now, mine superb! The package will be released with fully exfoliated. Do you think exfoliator is the right word? I thought about decorticator, but it's sanguinate, eviscerate, exfoliate. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Definitely exfoliate. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's a scolder, skinner, but that doesn't sound very official, does it? And the last machine is the extruder. Oh, ho, ho! that's it. The package is now fully prepared. We're ready for the extruder. Mind the package and let's get cracking. Oh, ho! I can barely contain myself. This is really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, and injection mold meat former. You wouldn't believe why I had to go to the pieces. Now, up on my board, you'll see a list of orders. We've already filled in the addresses 
all you have to do is press the right button. For example, if you want to call for one meter and one meat upkeep, then you press the appropriate button and then you put the order in a pneumatic tube. Beginning of a beautiful friendship. Isn't it an amazing system? Good, too. Take a short break and get something to eat. I've got to find some way out of here. August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cutoff to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cutoff to all the machines to minimize accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the V-meat. Ah, if I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right. Are you ready for another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> My little chick. Never mind. No time to read this now. that. Something's gone terribly wrong. There's smoke coming out. That doesn't seem good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. And it takes too long to recover from the spanker. Just get my things and go. You're not in the center, are you? Come now! Your sense of duty! Come now! Who makes the feed? There's a good chap. Coming behavior. What's going on up there? I heard shouting. Where's Rich? Mr. Cutty's turning cadavers into V meat. I barely escaped becoming V meat myself. He's got these horrible machines in there that turn people into meat bunt cake. Human bunt cake? That's... that's monstrous! Is he armed? He has a rather nasty spanker, but I think he's a bit trapped in the cellar at the moment. Right. We'll knock out the power and go spank him ourselves. Thank you, citizen. We'll take it from here. You can't do this to me! I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! 
I never! Those are all perfectly legitimate machines! I'm only trying to feed people! We're letting perfectly good meat go rotten! That's insane! Did you give thought to becoming a vegetarian?